Hey, what's up guys, it's Remedy for GSG Gaming Since Gaming, and we're doing the Chapter 4 Collectibles for Dead Space 3. Alright, so at the beginning of the chapter, you're gonna look on that box and there's a text log right there for you. And if you go around a couple of boxes in the back, there is a weapons part, the plasma core. And there is one more hidden collectible in this area. And it's behind that wall, so go over to this crack, and you want to use your kinesis and pull that out and grab the circuit. And right after a cutscene, you're going to be in the Admiral's quarters, and uh, kind of right in front of you is that artifact. Go up the stairs, to the left is going to be the audio log. And when you're done listening to that, look over to the right, down on the coffee table. There is going to be a text log. For this one, it's easier to show than explain. So you saw that I started in that briefing room, head down the corridor, and there's a storage facility to the right. So I believe you're supposed to go straight at this point, but you, yeah, you go to the right, and there are two collectibles in there. I believe it's a circuit in the power box. And you're going to get your first blueprint of the game. The shotgun. Which is kind of booty. Now on the next one, you're going to run into Ellie, and you're going to pass her up. And you're going to fly over to that little ship, but before you do, fly down into that ship. Into that crack, and you're going to get a scaff artifact. After you take the small vessel, also referred to as the skiff, um, to CMS Terra Nova, you're gonna uh, take off from that landing pad and head out this way around this big old uh, circular structure. You want to head to that back wall, and as you can see, there's three windows if you can see them. The one uh, furthest to the left is the one with the weapons part. You want to go up to that window and kiss the glass and it magically appears. And after that you want to head back to the skiff and go to your optional mission, the CMS Greeley. But once you're here you're going to see a set of stairs that you can go down in the center. You look over to the right and you're going to pick up that weapons part. And to continue on with the story, you gotta mess with that fuse box right there, and right after you're done, you're gonna head downstairs, and it's gonna activate that audio log. Once you get the power turned back on, you wanna head back to where that ladder was uh, that you climbed down, and uh, to the right, you go through this door, it's now open, and you go inside to the bathroom, wash your hands, and pick up the circuit. Now at this point, you wanna head back to that ladder so you can See where to go for your next one. It's uh, the first alien artifact. You walk through this corridor right here. And hang to the right. You see that first purple area? Go to the second one and go down in there and you collect it. And this is the generator room. You want to shut down this power. Hit down the stairs. Go back up the stairs. And you're going to collect a weapons part. And to the right. If you use your kinesis, you can activate an audio log. Martin! This is Lord Angstrom. They started the cleanse order. If we don't warn Toronto, all our work will be destroyed. Alright, now we're back at the ladder that you dropped down originally. This time we're going over to the torque lock. You're going to need to use a tungsten torque bar. There's a bench to create them over there. Don't forget to use your scavengers bots to uh, get tungsten to create that. Easiest way to do it when uh, you're towards the middle of the game. Alright, so you've got the telemetry spike weapons part, and if you look over to the left, you're going to get another circuit over in that power box. And as you're leaving the green leaf, you're going to see that large chunk of wreckage shaped like an L. And you're gonna go all the way down there. Um, I do want to note that the video starting point was actually from the skiff, that small vessel. 
not the Greeley, so uh, I guess use that as your focal point. Regardless, look for that nasty L chunk uh, on space. Go around this corner, you're actually gonna land down there, there's a door. Use that kinesis to open it. And then go in there on the right corner, there's gonna be an artifact for you. And if you turn to the left, there's a chest to open, and it's got one whole weapons part in it. A weak-ass compact standard frame. Alright. And now you want to get back in the skiv and head over to Brusilov. Also known as Ruski. You're gonna see a 6 down below you. Or 9, depending on which way you're looking at it. Most likely a 6. Head down there. And there's another magic window. From this point, you want to fly over to the left and around this uh, ship wreckage. And there's going to be some nasty oversized pimples on the side of the wall. And you can just fly right underneath those guys. Spitting out pus. Land on this platform. And... Kinesis that door. Walk on through, and over on the right hand side is going to be your artifact. It's a SCAF artifact, S E A F artifact. And right in front of you is going to be another chest. I don't like gas beating, so. I'm just going to get one. Now you're going to hop back in the skiff and head to Terra Nova, finally. Uh, once you exit, you're going to see that airlock, but you're actually going to run over to the side, to the left-hand side, and you're going to drop down there, do a little flying. It's exciting. And there's a platform out there in the middle, and you're going to fly to that. I do want to point out that this is a little confusing. Uh, both these collectibles, or all three of these collectibles that I'm about to show you, I believe uh, one or two, one of them, I think this one might actually count for chapter six. But regardless, you're out here, you might as well collect it anyways. It's an artifact. All right, so now you want to go up and around this wreckage and uh, be careful for some more pimples. And there's a chest right there. You want to land down here? And open that chest. You're gonna get a circuit and a weapons part. I believe it's the military engine. Alright, from this point on, you were done with single player collectibles in this chapter. Now we're on to the co op collectibles. Uh, this is at the very beginning when you go down the ladder, you open that door to the right, is that text log. Now you take an elevator to this area, and you head down this ladder, you're trying to get the, the oxygen turned back on, uh, on the ship. So, oh, what's up, Carver? Um, you grab a text log, and I believe that is a weapons part right next to it. Yes, it is. Explosive module. And then you can turn the air back on. And after you turn the air back on, you're going to go up an elevator, the elevator, and uh, there's going to be that T section, you're going to go straight down to this door, open it up, and uh, you're going to see two bunk mess to the left, and down the bottom bunk, I like top bunk, is a EarthGov artifact, and niggas be wild. Alright, so once you reach this area, you're going to see to the right, you're going to see that puzzle, to the left is this door, you're going to open that door, and it's a storage facility. Over on the right is that text log, and after you grab that, you look forward, and there's going to be a circuit that you can caress. And I have no idea why Carver's just shooting his gun off. And once you reach the baby marker, you clear out all the necros in there, and there's this chest over here. And it has three weapons parts. And that's all of the collectibles for chapter four. And I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. 
please subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. This is Remini. I'm out. Action. <laughs> You're stabbing a dragon. You're stabbing a dragon.